So last night I sat down and I said, I'm going to watch NBA basketball for a few hours. And I watched Giannis versus Wemby. And it was wildly entertaining. Last night is a perfect representation of what the NBA is now. Hyper, talented, international big men taking over the sport. Seven foot three, four, behind the back, can run the floor, can shoot, can defend at the rim, can at times defend on the perimeter, taking over games and taking over the league. You know, Steph, LeBron, and KD are having good, great years. And in the West, they are 9, 10, and 11 in the standings. That's the new NBA. The old guard is out. The new guard is international, long, and strong. It's the next level of a global sport. It's unbelievable. The last five years, the MVPs have been Giannis twice, Jokic twice, Embiid once, and Embiid this year, because James Harden left, is now like Mr. Assist guy. He can even pass the ball. He's got a little Jokic to his game. So Giannis against Wemby last night was just completely freakish next-level basketball. It was crazy watching Shaq and Kenny and Charles. They're just <laughs> watching this stuff. Giannis is like Wemby if Wemby had been in an NBA weight room for a decade. Long, strong, had a dunk to seal it late, a much more refined game, a, a stronger player physically. But it was classic stuff. You were watching. Greg Popovich said at one point, like, there's just nothing like it. Like, it doesn't look like anything we've ever seen before. The Bucks won it as they should have because Giannis right now is better than Wemby. And Giannis down the stretch had the big bucket. So it was fascinating. Meanwhile, out west, Jokic, my opinion, the best current basketball player in the world, wrapped up his Nuggets win. Hey, bro, you bring it up the floor. We don't need a guard. You can bring it up the floor. He said when he let go of it, and he's a humble guy. I've met him. He said, yeah, I knew it was going in. <laughs> I mean, it's just different. It is a new world. It's a little unorthodox. It doesn't look like anything we've seen. We all love Michael. Michael couldn't defend these guys. Give me a break. We thought Kevin Durant was great. He wasn't this big, this long. I mean, it's just incredible. These guys are amazing. I love it. I thought the Denver Nuggets were fascinating. And the reason I love Wemby, and the reason I love Giannis, and the reason I love Jokic is because they do so many things. Centers in the 70s and 80s and 90s, you know, John Conkak, Will Perdue, Bill Cartwright, th those days are over. These guys carry the ball in the inbounds. Jokic has missed five shots total in his last four games. I'm not joking. He missed three last night total. He had an off night. It's just like nothing we've seen. You know, if you've listened to this show, I like new stuff. I'm not a high school letterman jacket guy. I'm not a tradition guy. I don't collect baseball cards. I'm not a collector. I like new stuff. I like the future more than the past. The windshield more than the rearview mirror. I don't care about bowl games dying. Most of them are boring. Most people don't go to most of them. The sponsors bounce around bowl game to bowl game. Give me new stuff. Give me a 12-team college football playoff. What we're watching in the NBA is fascinating to me. And last night was a perfect representation for what the best basketball league in the world looks like now and going forward. Embiid, Wemby, Luka, Giannis, <sighs> Joker. It's just incredible. Incredibly skilled basketball. So, Pro Bowl yesterday. Pro Bowl team came out. Don't want to take any shots at anybody. Uh, Brock Purdy made the Pro Bowl. So let's uh, first tip our cap to uh, the next Tom Brady, as my partner says here. Let's, let's give Brock Purdy his, his credit here. NFL does so many things right. Uh, the Pro Bowl is not one of them. Josh Allen leads the NFL with 42 touchdowns. Didn't make the Pro Bowl. If the Bills win against Miami this weekend, I think they will. They'll be the number two seed. Tua, who can't beat Josh Allen, he made it. Did you see that game against Baltimore last week? He, he looked like a starter in the Pro Bowl? Okay. Mahomes having the worst year of his career, he made it too. Mahomes and Josh Allen have the same number of passing touchdowns. 27. Allen has 15 rushing touchdowns. Mahomes has zero. Josh Allen beat Mahomes head-to-head. -head. Has 15 more total touchdowns. The turnovers... Fairly even. The teams, both 10 and 6. 
Mahomes made it. Allen didn't. And I love Mahomes. But the Bills' offense scores 27 points per game. The Chiefs' offense, with the smartest offensive coach perhaps in our life, Andy Reid, scores 22 a game. (laughs) Oh, I don't know. Maybe the 15 extra rushing touchdowns impacted that. Everybody likes Mahomes. But Josh Allen has dealt with a defensive coach. He doesn't have Andy Reid. They fired their OC. So he's on his second OC this year. Stephon Diggs drama. Head coach had drama. 15 more rushing touchdowns. Beat Mahomes head-to-head. Same record. He doesn't make it. The Oscars in Hollywood. The Emmys in television. Pro Bowls. Heisman voting. I can't take it seriously. I can't take any of it seriously. Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid, there are Walsh in Montana. I savor them every Sunday. Total respect. Hope they win five more Super Bowls. But both would acknowledge they've struggled all year. Mahomes has struggled all year. Josh Allen has been Superman most of the year. I mean, give it to Lamar, MVP. I got no problem with that. His team's better, um, but they also have better players. That roster at Baltimore is better than Buffalo's roster. And that's, you know, all things said, I'm for Lamar winning the MVP. I think he's the soul of that franchise. 42 total touchdowns. Lead the league in touchdowns. Can't make your conferences Pro Bowl. Come on now. If you want me to take stuff seriously, you know, I worked in local TV for a long time, and I never took the Emmy seriously because you. I always had a theory that you could tell when the red light comes on a camera, you can tell the players from the non-players, the haves from the have-nots. Some people can just talk, fire, five alarm, camera, go, talk, six minutes, no pauses. Those guys, those women, those people, those are your players. And then there's people that can edit an Emmy tape and, you know, they, they lobby for it. They have one great story. They win in local. And I'm like, yeah, I can't take this stuff seriously. We know who can play. We know who can't. I mean, in the Pro Bowl, the NFL does almost everything right. I mean, they really do a lot right. And the Pro Bowl, let's just, just, just no more. That's just, I'm over it. I told you years ago, I had a Heisman vote. Years and years ago, I got a Heisman vote. And I voted Eric B. Enemy played for Colorado. And literally, he was the offense. I mean, he was just an incredible player. And they gave it to a BYU quarterback. And at the time, BYU's offense was ahead of its time. Every BYU quarterback threw for a zillion yards. Like, it was just a machine. It was like Oklahoma running backs in the 70s and 80s. Didn't matter who they were. They were all good. It was a Nebraska running back under Tom Osborne. They were all successful. It's a running back in the NFL under Mike Shanahan's offense. They're all great. So I, uh, I'm not like I ever took the Pro Bowl seriously, but if you look at what Josh Allen's dealt with, a defensive coach who was under fire, he's on his second OC, there's drama with his quarterback. Uh, his, <laughs> don't get it. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.